हेलो गाइज वेलकम टू मिशी ब्लू टैरो वेलकम टू माई चैनल लॉन्ग टाइम आई डेंट डू अ रीडिंग सो टूडे वी आर गोइंग टू बी लुकिंग एट एन इम्पॉर्टेंट इवेंट एंड वील सी बिकॉज आई जस्ट हैव दिस मैसेज अबाउट अ इम्पॉर्टेंट इवेंट नाउ वेयर इज दैट लीडिंग यू टू वॉट्स हाउ इज दैट गोइंग टू बी वॉट इज गोइंग टू हैपन लेट्स सी इट्स डेफिनेटली इम्पॉर्टेंट विच इज वाई वील पिक इट अप थ्रू द कार्ड्स वील सी वॉट इट हैज टू से एंड वील सी वॉट इज इट लीडिंग टू Okay, so the question is an important event, and what is it leading to? All right, that's the question. So let me pick up crystals for you. Um, pile number one will be amethyst. Pile two will be this citrine, and pile three will be this turquoise. Okay. so you can pause the video look at the crystals which one is attracting you the most and go ahead and select your piles i'll pause for like 2 3 seconds all right let's begin with amethyst an important event so i have taken out couple of my set decks so we'll see an important event and what is it going to lead and where is it leading you or what is it going to lead to let's see Okay. You will be extremely surprised by someone's change in attitude. You will be extremely surprised by what you so your intuition will guide you towards something i'm seeing your intuition will tell you that go go in that side probably just walk like for example sometimes you know you wake up one day and you're like i want to do this today it's it's that feeling and the mo you you are going to listen to this feeling i'm seeing and you know what you will be surprised by this thing that you had a certain kind of a notion or a mindset about a particular person and that person is exactly the opposite like maybe the way you saw them was your illusion and your past trauma or whatever like you had a certain um preconceived notion about certain kind of people that okay this person in this category that person in that category so you will be surprised by this person and i am also seeing that this person's soft side is going to make you feel very comfortable so this person is i mean used to showing a particular side all the time and that is why i'm seeing that you will be extremely surprised by what this person uh does and some kind of a plan this person has what is this let's see let me pick some more cards
Hmm. Okay. So you probably always thought that this person is all about their own benefits, plan, proposition. If this is getting me benefits, if this is getting me results, etc., etc. You always thought in that tangent. But this person has a different plan. This person kept their door locked, like basically the, the soft side of their personality, they always kept it inside because they didn't want you to know about it for some reason, I'm not sure. I'm also seeing for some of you, um, This person has a vision of a family with you. Like this could be related, this part specifically could be related to love. Uh, a vision of a life with you. Because the way you think is the way this person thinks as well. Like there's a lot of similarity. And it's leading to a good place. But I think there are some blockages also. Let's see. Use another deck. Yes, now I get it. You both are very alike, very similar. You don't like to show your soft sides to anyone. Each, and that's how you come across to each other as well. Like you don't want to show that side of your personality. However, deep down, both of you want to be with each other. And um, this person feels very shy when it comes to telling the truth about how they feel and what they feel. It's like there is this cycle between the two of you somewhere that, you know, you both cannot open up, cannot open up. And that's where I, and let me see why I see a personality, which is similar. Why is also because something has happened to both of you, like a similar kind of a experience, which is knitting the two of you together. And you both are she is seeing each other's shadows through one another. And this has been divinely knitted together. So this event, when you figure out the soft side about this person, you will also be triggered to see your soft side, which you have locked very massively. And I'm seeing that um, it will bring about a comfort in this situation. Now, I don't know what exactly. So how I am looking at this particular pile is that two people personality inside personality inside you both are connected but with a guard around okay so when you see the side of this person your guard will start to feel like melting and that will be all organic it's not going to be like um, forced thing 
and that is why this event is happening like we are looking at an important event and what is it going to lead to so maybe this is the reason you got to shed that side of you now and this person is just here to help you with that why let's see this why and then we'll because i'm interested <laughs> let's see why yeah because you both have been hurt equally there is some kind of a past baggage that needs to clear up and for this person it is going to be you who will help them clear this mess out of their system and it's vice versa for for them and for you as well like i mean this person will be able to clear it off for you here and it's also going to bring in a lot of power in the two of you so what you both want from your life is connected to each other like for both of you that's what i'm seeing like when you shed certain sides of your personality you open yourself up to abundance and you both do this for each other okay pile one that's what i have i hope this helps quite an interesting reading let me know in the comments take care and i will talk to you guys soon bye bye Okay, let's move to pile number two. Whoever chose the citrine, all right. An important event, and what is it going to lead to for you, pile number two? Let's see. is it going to lead to an important event oh two cards i have very straightforward message i'm seeing you will get an invite to something for a event an event where you probably will have to dress up in a very unusual way like maybe a themed party or something of that sort where you know a get together and over there i think you will open up to someone you will there is going to be a push in you to not attend this event like you might feel that okay i don't want to go for this there is going to be immense amount of push from inside for you to like decide that okay i don't want to i don't want to i don't want to go there's something that you've been grieving about um let me just pick some more cards oh wow okay there's something that you've been grieving about okay and you're not letting yourself out in the open i think the moment you See the whole point is that this grief is now stopping you from being being your true true self like I don't know what this grief is but whatever this is it is stopping you from being the best version of who you can be in fact it is also stopping you from getting that correct life partner and the moment you do this this person rushes in whoever this is I'll see who this person is but this person rushes in I'm seeing that you will go for this event I think however you might go with a gloom you might go with no expectations but you will just go and you're going to interact with a lot of people okay it's opening the doors for a particular person to come in your life okay you don't know this person this is totally new but i think the time that you have spent right now understanding yourself and giving yourself time to see who you truly are and what you exactly are and what is the kind of life you want what is the kind of life partner you want you put in a lot of time in that and that is why you are getting to that zone of understanding that yes this is who i am this is me this is the kind of life i want this is how i want to proceed and this person is exactly going to be the replica of what you truly wanted you would also understand that 
you know you stopping yourself from going to certain places or you know not not basically um interacting with people you choosing to be silent not wanting to open up all these things were a big reason that was stopping you from being the best version of who you can be and also attracting the correct life partner basically this gloom i don't know maybe you 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 are underconfident about yourself you you didn't you felt that you know you are not good looking enough or you're not charming enough or maybe because of your upbringing or maybe somebody just put in this notion in your mind that you're not good enough okay somebody just put you in that cycle that you know you don't deserve to be happy and you believed it so you have to take this conscious step of coming out of it let's see a little more this is definitely leading you to a person but let's see a little more this person will come i'll tell you very interesting the kind of conversations and compliments and discussions that you will have with this person okay you will be surprised you will be surprised that somebody can think of you in such a highly way okay you have no idea you will start to feel as if what all did you believe in and why did you believe in and this person will uh fuse you with a lot of confidence which is also going to help you in your career and it will help you in meeting yourself it will help you in um seeing your true origin like what you truly are like see this is who you are and this is what you think you are so your reality is what you think and that's how you started to feel about yourself that's how you started to like perceive yourself you started to think that okay this is who i am and this is how i can be i can't be better than this i am this and that so basically you'll be surprised by the kind of compliments this person is going to give you or the way this person is going to speak to you you have no idea like it will basically change so a change is in the horizon through a particular person if you go for this event cuz i see you going but yes this gloom is very strong in you it it's become like a dark side which will always pull you back from meeting new people talking to new kind of people trying new things so it's more like no i can't or yes i can like that way okay so interesting reading citrine uh, let me know in the comments if this reading resonated because this seems to be come out of this zone like we always tend to believe what others say and that is the reason why we form a particular opinion about ourselves and that is not good for us i know i might say it and it might sound very easy it's easier said than done but then i'm telling you the moment you take that one small step of opening that door coming out of that mindset you've no idea you'll start to think of yourself to be so stupid back then but obviously you'll be thankful of whatever you went through so that's what it is all right let me know in the comments and i shall see you soon guys private readings are open so you can reach out to me take care bye bye okay let's move to turquoise whoever chose the third pile let me just shuffle the deck an important event and what is it going to lead to let's see important event and what is it going to lead to i had this card but let's see what is it going to important event
okay for some of you i'm picking this message i'm just telling you whatever i pick the kind of insecurities you have about a particular situation or a person the person also has the same insecurity about you say for example if you think that oh is this person going to like me am i good enough that person will also is also thinking in the same way that am i good enough is he going to like me i mean is she going to like me or is he going to like me same thing You are running behind something which is not your true happiness and you also know this but you're just so keen on making that happen The feminine energy in this connection has to open up is what I'm seeing she has to talk I mean she has to also let her guard down very important that I'm picking up for this pile But what is this event I mean I want to pick up something about the event Yeah You have to walk away okay wait firstly you'll keep going in circles you're again inviting another cycle in your life and that is an important event because you're not understanding that you running behind a particular thing or a situation is an outcome of a mindset that you have which has developed because of a trauma and i'm very sure about that because it is because of a trauma because this is not your true self because you're not happy from inside you're not so, you're you're not feeling that happiness that you've always looked for but you're chasing something because of a trauma like i'll give you an example uh, if you say as a as you grow up if you've seen a lot of dearth of money then your whole mindset will be to to run behind money to make sure that you have enough to make sure that you and that enough cannot be quantified because that enough is not quantified because it's not exactly a goal it's a trauma driven a uh, response that okay because i went through this this has to be taken care of for sure okay something will repeat think think what are you like you have a dream which you're not allowing yourself to see or to live think about it pile number 3 there's something on your mind Okay. It is not so easy firstly you have to understand that you also have the right to be happy. Because you have defined happiness for yourself and that is a set mindset like what I just said because you've done that it just seems you really cannot come out of that mindset. 
and which is what is stopping your happiness so i would say something will repeat again i think you would chase something and feel sad about it and then you will realize that why did you know it what i'm talking about like you just know that okay why did i again you will have this thought that why did i again do this in spite of knowing it's coming from a place of trauma you have to understand this thing and i know it is very difficult it is very complicated in your mind but this event will again tell you the same thing or is it something different let me just see but if this realization has happened with you several times then what is so important about this that you're seeing this this time i feel you're going to act differently even though it's going to be very tough even though it is going to be very uh difficult for you to do it but i see you acting differently you're going to do something else and this time i think you'll receive some kind of divine guidance maybe numbers symbols are going to talk to you you will not repeat i mean you will repeat it but this is really the final repeat is what i'm seeing and that is why it's an important event i think this time you're going to question everything a lot and think that okay why am i chasing it what am i getting out of it those things like you will question it you will ask yourself that do i really want it do i actually want it do i not want it what do i want to do you are going to ask yourself these things you're building something very big pile number 3 okay and it's reached a point where you have to identify your own vulnerabilities to become more awakened your i see obviously you have a very spiritual life purpose pile number 3 however whoever has chosen this your life purpose is very connected to your heart the more you evolve the more your life purpose evolves the more you are able to connect with yourself understand yourself the more you're able to do things okay so this is an important cycle that you need to end in your life this is um this i would say is an important uh, commitment that you need to make to yourself so wait and watch i think i'm not for only for this pile i'm not being able to pick up too much but yeah it's going to be a similar event but this is going to be the last one okay and it's going to teach you a lot and this time you will be able to break free from it and act in a different way question a lot of things and choose your own happiness this time and that's what is important here All right pile 3 that's what i have i hope this reading helps private readings are open you can reach out to me let me know in the comments if this resonated okay take care i'll talk to you soon bye bye